Oh, so we've been on five adventures, have we? Let's see if we can indent that one more the next morning. Uh, good morning. Let's do again. Good. Blah, let's do good again today. Is this the place where that team named Blue is based? There's nothing here. Depressing, isn't it? Yeah. Who'd run a rescue team from a dump like this? Unbelievable. Wow, that's um random insult. Uh, who are you people? Oh, over there, mailbox. <laughs> yeah, check it out. Hey, now wait a second. What do you think you're doing? Yes, rescue job offers. There, if you want to find some, there's some right on the bulletin board to the right. Ooh la la, isn't that rather tasty? They're not food, Medicamp. We'll have them all. Stop! Those are meant for us. Don't butt in. You you normally say don't butt in in a situation where you know. Somebody's trying to say something. It's it's not really. Yeah, that doesn't matter who does it. We're a rescue team too. I'll have you know. But all we ever got get up to is no good. Want to know how it works? If we have the cover of a rescue team, we can get away with so much more. We have our eyes on world domination. What? World domination? Yeah, you heard right. That's why we're uh, raking in the cash and adding to our gang. The world will be ours. The rescue team of evil. Team Meanies is who we are. See you around. Kick it. Now wait a second. They took off. What an unbelievable bunch. Yeah, that was random. Oh no, it's, it's empty. Yeah, that's what they meant by let's have them all. It's actually not empty if you look at the stored mailbox thing, but they took everything. Yeah, like, the additions of the Pokemon news that we stored will still be in that mailbox. We're in luck. Pelipper delivered some mail. We can go on rescue missions again with this. But those guys, they better not try anything if we see them again. Yeah, you talk tough now that it's over. Now, um... I guess I will show you uh, the completion of a rescue mission just for the sake of, you know, having everything shown off. You'll get into a daily grind where you have to kinda do a rescue mission and then wait for the story to progress. So we're gonna take a few Mount Steel missions. And we will cut to the uh, moments where we rescue them. Also, one thing I thought I would uh, show off, they have a Petrify Orb available. This is gonna be relatively useful uh, later on in the game, so if you see one, I do recommend uh, buying it if you can. So the way these Kecleon Brothers work, if you didn't know, is that the one on the left, the green one, will sell uh, normal items, and the one on the right sells uh, orbs and TMs only. Um, he has stuff like apples, he's got Reviver Seeds, uh, and uh, sometimes Max Elixirs, or like other, you know, status ailment remedies, I guess. Their uh, wares will reset every day, uh, th th randomly, um, so if you don't see an item that you're looking for, you can, it might come around. Also, Kangaskhan, you are uh, clawing at nothing. Alright, so now we're on the uh, floor of our last rescue um, of our mission objectives. It'll tell you which floors we're supposed to go to, and uh, yeah, we got the first two. We just go up to them, and uh, we have the option to uh, you know use our rescue badge to uh, get them out. If you let them walk around, they tend to go in random directions. Uh, slightly, it's a, it's a slightly difficult task to chase them down, but uh, yeah, just go up and then press A, and uh, yeah. So in the story, the rescue badges are magic, and I guess they teleport them. And we have the option to escape the dungeon ourselves. I'm gonna get a nice little cutscene here where they uh, give us a stock message and uh, we receive our items. You usually get between about 200 and 500 poke, I'll say. And yeah, random uh, items like that.
Ooh, Reviver Seed. So yeah, that, uh, you don't need to hold it. If it's in your inventory and one of your Pokemon faint, you will actually get, uh, revived. It also restores your PP, so it's, uh, good, it's best used, uh, later in the dungeon if you can. And yes, I'd like to save my game. The next morning. Ah, oh, good morning, Bluey. Let's do good again today. Bluey! Jared! Huh? Who is that? Oh, Caterby, how have you been? If he was shouting for us, I don't think it was... It's good. Please! Please help my friend! What's the matter? I was playing with my friend Metapod. But Metapod got lost in the woods, and he's still lost out there. Oh, I see, I see. That does sound bad. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? Have no fear. We're here to save your chum, Metapod. Or, your chum, Metapod. Hold on. Caterpie came to us for help. Okay, you think you can do this rescue with your amateur level skills? What did you say? Don't get triggered by such a lame insult, Jared. It doesn't matter who does the rescuing, see? The guy that does the rescuing gets to be the hero. Listen, Caterpie, how about we do this? How about you give the reward to the team that brings back your chum first? But I... I don't have any money. Oh, don't you worry about that, my little friend. I'm sure we can persuade your parents to reward us with interest afterward. <laughs> Oh yeah! You can even join our team. That's an offer you can't refuse. When you join us, Caterpie, will you be a big wheel in Team Meanies? <laughs> That's the deal, Jared. The first rescue wins. Come on, move. Let's get this done already. Don't worry. We'll save your friend first. Bluey, let's get going. What should I do? I don't have any money, and I don't want to join those meanies. Please, Bluey, help us. Yeah, so, um... That happened. They didn't mention it, but we're going to be heading to a place known as Sinister Woods. Thankfully, not too difficult. Um, as the name would imply, it's got uh, lots of grass types and uh, poison types. I'm just buying a few things here. It's not something you need to terribly prepare for, but there are... There are a couple things you might want to keep in mind. Actually, I'll keep the gravel rocks and the orange berries. These items are gummies, which, uh, they raise your IQ. We don't need these reviver seeds for this dungeon, trust me. You may want to bring a blast seed, just because... Use them up early game, because that's when they're the most useful. Wondering what else I should take. So basically, if you didn't know, the Kangaskhan storage stores everything in it's infinite. At least I'm pretty sure it's 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 functionally infinite, I'll say. Nothing much here. Actually, we'll maybe we'll take a Pecha scarf. I don't know maybe it's pronounced like Pecha, but regardless, this prevents poisoning. So kinda like a permanent uh, Pecha berry, so that's all well and good. And any other money we have will be stored at the Felicity Bank. As you saw earlier, I bought a Reviver Seed. I would recommend, you know, stocking up on those whenever you can. You, you never know if you might run into a wall with the boss. Figuratively, um... Also, I caught a, a Rattata at one point. Uh, having to navigate this, this menu screen, it's... It, when you have, like, a lot of people you're managing, it can get kind of hectic. Sinister Woods. This must be it. Metapod is lost somewhere in these woods. Gengar's gang should be in there already. We need to hurry. So this music is a remix of the, like, uh, you know, unnerving theme. Oh wow, Sudowoodo. It's just standing there. Yeah, it does that in this game. But yeah, it's that, uh, you know, that, uh, That, that theme. 
It's okay. Not sure if I like it that much, but I don't know. Yeah, you, we can safely stay away from that Sudowoodo. You look like a grass type, but you're not one, which actually works good evolutionary wise because you uh, then you'll 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 use uh, you know fire type moves on you and you'll resist them. So I guess there's that. Oh boy, I hope you don't have rollout yet. You, you don't, right? I should not be using Water Gun this early. You've you got a lot of good moves, and you know, you want to keep them for when you want to, for when you need them. So an awkward thing I noticed is that sometimes it, it uh, your Gravel Rocks don't get added to the, uh, blah, they, they don't get added to the same uh, slot in your inventory, because it's supposed to be that they're an exception to, uh, you know, taking up a uh, item space in your inventory. If you set them, or you place them on the floor, and then uh, walk in them again, it'll uh, shuffle them around right in the right order. Which is weird, because uh, the, the set function looks to me, you know, in a quick uh, way, like like the place function, but nope. Also, Cascoon, I think, also is uh, completely immobile. Which is weird, because it's not like a mobile Pokemon are like a mechanic that really shows up a lot. It's kind of relegated to this specific area. We have a lot of uh, gravel rocks. We'll probably start using them. So warp orb. What does that do again? It, it, I know it warps. I, th is, I think it either warps every enemy in the room or the enemy in front of you to a random location. Yep, close in the same room to place it on, this, on the same floor. Well, keep that in mind. That may have a use at some point. Sun Flora. Usually you're not much of a concern, but I don't want to jinx it in Mystery Dungeon. Can I hit you from here? Yes, I can. Okay, now you move. Yeah, PP. This is a 12-floor dungeon, or maybe even either 12 or 13 floors, so you want to start getting in the habit of conserving your uh, PP. You only have Ember, so I will focus on this guy. Oh yeah, of course you have Runaway. Keep in mind that uh, every Pokemon species in Mystery Dungeon, they have both. If they, if they have two abilities normally, they will have both. Uh, a weird uh, oddity of Mystery Dungeon. Not including hidden abilities, obviously, in gens where they exist, but. Because I believe they can have run. They can have both Runaway and Keen Eye. I'm pretty sure Furret has those two, I'm not sure about Sentret. Dang, lots of Blast Seeds. I believe they do uh, 30 damage like as a fixed amount. I know in uh, Super Mystery Engine they do 100 damage, so a big uh, buff there, but... And of course it, <laughs> it, it fills your belly too, like... You know, I expel fire from my stomach, of course. Okay, that did 45 damage, so... Either it's set at 45 in this game, or it it's not set at all, and it, it works on your attack stat, but... Be that as it may, I'm gonna... I am going to uh, not use it on you, because I have better options to use it on. So nitpick time. I don't like this color, this uh, the tile sets for this dungeon. I don't know why? I just hate coming back here. The brown and the green, they don't work for me. It's uh, I don't know. It doesn't look much like a forest, personally. Let's just hit you with my A attack. If you didn't know, the uh, A attack in this game basically struggle does not exist. If you over on a PP, you can use this. Or forever, like, even if you're not out of PP and you don't want to waste it, you can just use that. It's ty It deals typeless damage, so it, it's the same effect on ghost types as, uh... 
Yeah, it's, it's not uh, modified in any way. Um, I don't remember the base power. It's I think it's uh, about 10 base power, but I'm not quite sure. The only thing I know for sure is that in Super Mystery Dungeon it was changed to, so that it was a fixed 5 damage every time. So, really, really not useful at all uh, once you got any length of time in the game. Well, and again, the level curve was pretty low, so it could... In that one, like, you would stay uh, low-leveled for kind of a while, but... You know what? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. See? Wonder Child resetting my stats. And this room is a dead end, of course. Yeah, I want to get away from Shroomish. Okay, no, you're... We're getting away from you now. Shroomish. Breloom, under underrated uh, Pokemon, I'll say. Personally, just one of my personal favorites. For whatever reason. It's got some decent... Got some decent use in both Pokemon Emerald and... Uh, What's that other one? Uh, XD Gale of Darkness also uh, pretty good in both of those. Especially if you're ever tired of just using Sceptile all the time. Uh, are you... Yeah, Lediba. Also, I believe Gravel Rock also deals typeless damage. It's not a Rock-type move. Especially considering it's, it wasn't, you know, super effective on that Lediba. I'm really glad you don't have Comet Punch like your uh, evolution does, because let me tell you, I should not have used Mud Slap on that. Uh, it, it's be um, in this game. Weirdly, I don't know how this happened, but m moves that hit multiple times, they were given a buff. Like every individual hit is about as powerful as a move, you know, would normally be. Like Bullet Seed, for example. And let's this is an example of my hunger stack getting low, so. Yeah, my belly was uh, previously much lower than it was now. If the, these guys, uh, you know, my, my allies, they don't get hungry normally, but if they get hit with something like a hunger seed, for example, which uh, decreases your belly, then they will not move. They'll be they'll get the hungry pal status. They will not move unless I feed them something. And it could be anything. It could be a blast seed. <laughs> Somehow it doesn't make it worse. Uh, But yeah, getting back to multi-hit moves, uh, do be very wary of that. On the plus side, if you get grass types, you can find a bullet seed TM somewhere uh, in the game. So, like in the in the main story before the after game. So it's not not a bad idea if you want to use it yourself. Thankfully, it was fixed, and, and it was also, uh, you know, it went back to normal in the second uh, round of Mystery Dungeon games. Oh, I haven't given my Petra scarf to any of my any of my, any of the party members yet. Yeah, you're uh, the the item slots for. Oh, geez, I accidentally walked on water. Um, so. Uh, as you can see, when you lose your teammates, they kind of wander all over the place. And, uh, yeah, water types water types, and water types alone can walk on water. There's also pools of lava that fire types, like, you know, good old Charmander here can, uh, walk on. And I can't. Or I think I could, but I could get a... No, wait, though, that's flying types, never mind. Flying types can go over all of them. And really awkwardly, if you end up having to, you know, go in the water and walk backward... It will send any teammates, since you, they can't trade places with them, it will send them flying. Uh, also, Magnemite, even though it doesn't have Levitate as an ability, it can, it can, it also has the ability to Levitate like a flying type. And other Pokemon that do have Levitate can't, like Gengar, so. Yeah, Exeggutor, they throw that to you. It seems like a weirdly advanced Pokemon to throw at you this early. Well, then again, it, it evolves with, uh, you know, Leaf Stone, so I guess... Theoretically, it's not too impossible. 
One thing to note is that if you press the A and the B button together at the same time, it will advance, like, uh, it'll advance through the turn. So if you want to heal a Pokemon without using an item, basically you can do that at the cost of your belly going up and with opponents, you know, getting, getting a chance to, you know, move. Wow, you are evil. Yeah, you can kind of hear that in the song. Ugh, that's so annoying, waking the enemy Pokemon up. You sh Magnemite, you are barred from not using moves. Actually, since we have a blue gum in our inventory, we will digest it right now. I meant to say ingest. So, our IQ is up significantly, that's because we're water type and the, the gummies will actually be more effective based on your types. Like, a red gummy would do well to fire types. Uh, grass gummies do well against, you know, grass types. Yeah, they awkwardly had to put the green gummy for bug type, so sometimes it's obvious, sometimes it's not. But yeah, if you ever see a gummy, wonder what it is, that's what it is. And random fact, uh, one other thing to know about IQ, if you ever see the move Frustration come up, in this series, the hap happiness does not exist. Wow, that sounds really horrible out of context. So, happiness does not exist. But, uh, the IQ will actually determine the power of frustration in return. Now, I believe the boss floor is where we have next. So, do note that your health does not automatically get recovered on boss floors. Or before, rather. So, do keep that in mind. Wow, we came quite a ways in this forest. I wonder if Metapod is ahead. Hold it right there! Heh, <laughs> you know who's gonna get to Metapod first? We are! So, for you to go ahead, well, we can't let that happen. Wh what? Hey Gengar, why do you always mess with us? Oh, didn't we tell you? Our aim is world domination. Uh, Caterpie's mama will give us a generous reward. And Caterpie will join us, too. This brings us closer to our goal. Why would she give you a greater reward for Metapod? It's That's not her child. Keke, <laughs> and for that, your lot is in the way. So sorry to say, but your party's over right here and now. Say goodbye, Jared. You're gonna kill us? Alright, so we have a boss fight here. To start with, we've got Ekans. It's a poison type. Its ability it has two abilities at the same time. Shed Skin and Intimidate. I forget how Intimidate works in Mystery Dungeon, but... It's got, a uh, Brap, Leer, Bite, and Poison Sting. We have, in the side, we got Metacham, Psychic Fighting type. It's got Pure Powers, the ability, which would... Increases... Has a 1 in 3 chance of increasing the power of any of its physical attacks. It's got the moves Thunder Punch, Detect, Meditate, and Confusion. And Big Bad, uh, Gengar, he has Lick, Spite, Curse, and Hypnosis. And his abilities levitate, so don't use ground-type moves against it if you have it. Alright, enough moseying around, let's, uh... I'll just, uh, throw a Gravel Rock and see how the chips go, okay. I don't want him to use, you know, his, uh... Okay, let's deselect tackle, because that will have a little effect. I don't want him to use hypnosis on me. That would be bad news bears. Um, Ekans doesn't have much to do back there. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's see, let's consume a blast seed and see how well that works out for us. Yeah, pure power would be pretty bad if it were uh, this were the main series, but thankfully. You know, because that in the main series that increases your attack like permanently. Um, even with only enough like including EVs, like it does. Okay, Blast Seed's slightly better than using uh, my move. Oh, by the way, uh, Medicham is level twelve. Ekans and Gengar are both level fifteen. I like how their boss theme is uh, not the boss theme; it is the. Uh, you know, the anxiety theme, as they call it. Curse! Oh boy! I'm glad it didn't affect us, um... Okay, good. 
Thankfully, these guys aren't too difficult. Yeah, Curse, of course, will uh, drain 150 or HP every turn, so... Oh, well. Now, do be aware, um, in Mr. Engine, if either you or your partner faint, you will... that, that then you lose. If, if one of your temporary party members, like Magnemite, faints, it's no problem, but... Ow, 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 ow. You'll pay for this. Don't you forget it. No one should hold us back now. Let's find Metapod. Um, excuse me. Did you maybe come looking for me? You must Metapod. Let's get you home. Caterpie was worried about you. Yay! I was scared, so I kept my shell hardened and waited and waited. Thank you. This is great. Welcome back, Metapod. Thank you, Caterpie. And thank you, Jared and Bluey. But I don't have any money. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need it. We don't need a reward. We're happy to see that Metapod is back safe and sound. Cool. You're even more cool than I thought. I want to go on rescues when I grow up. <laughs> that would be great. Chase that dream. I have an idea. Bluey, we should do something with this place. We should make a proper rescue team base here. Something impressive. That's cool. Rescue team base is cool. Yeah, this is foreshadowing something that doesn't come up for a while. I want to work here when I grow up, and it's not even that significant. Me too, me too. <laughs> That's what we'll do. Let's work hard and build our own rescue team base. Bluey and Jared, thank you again. Okay, bye. Be careful going home. Well, that's oddly dismissive. Well, we ended up working for free, but that was the right thing to do. And we got to show Gengar's th team a thing or two, so it's all good. That, that, that was a tiring day. Let's do some more good tomorrow. See you. And we lose our, uh, we temporarily lose our, you know, extra party member. Yeah, they fixed. Annoying having to, you know, get it every single day. Thankfully, in later games, they don't do that. Anyway, uh, see you next time. Let's hustle, Bluey. We're still stuck back here uh, while Gengar's gang is. Come on, hurry. I would have given up by now, Jared. I think they've probably gotten to Metapod. They're probably negotiating with Butterfree as we speak. So just as sort of an extra thing, if you fail in a boss fight and you have to come back, they, the dialogue actually changes to reflect that, which is nice. This is where the meanies showed up last time. I wonder if Gengar's bunch already found Metapod. Hold it right there! Huh? It's Gengar! Why is the Gengar gang following us? You can't keep their names straight like three times in a row. Gengar's team, the Gengar gang, the meanies. The meanies. Y you be quiet. Right after we beat you last time, we got careless and wiped out too. Don't you laugh at me. What makes you so, what makes you so high and mighty? Whatever happens, we're not gonna lose to you amateurs. This is it, Jared. You're going down. <laughs> I love that portrait there. Yeah. 